It is a touching story of love, family, and community, and how they all came together to help a special boy with special needs. Nick Pepperella has the story tonight. 15-year-old Edo Moo, who goes by the nickname Moo, knows that he is loved by his family, friends, and community. He can't communicate verbally, but he can communicate with his eyes. He's a flirt. He likes ladies. William Gome basically adopted Moo, his mom and dad, and five other siblings after they arrived here from a refugee camp in Thailand more than seven years ago. And we became a family part of each other's family. Moo was born healthy, but at eight months he fell ill, went into a coma, and now lives with cerebral palsy. They've been on Bully Street for four years, but the townhouse wasn't accessible until their social worker contacted the London Middlesex Housing Corporation to get help. LMHC exists to really impact lives and build community, um, but we recognize that community needs community to, to build them up. After about five months, the unit next door was made over. Basically had to gut um, the main floor of this unit um, to create uh, an accessible first floor bedroom for Mo and, and a bathroom that really met his needs. Once word of the project got out, Make-A-Wish Southwestern Ontario got involved to help decorate and personalize Moo's room. We had a designer help us, chose the colors, um, we provided the furniture for his medications, the fridge for his medications, and then Diego was his favorite, so we kind of themed the room around that. For mom and dad, this is a dream come true. I'm very exciting and proud of uh, when I saw the new house. <laughs> I'm very happy. Easy to carry him, easy to, uh, to put him on the bed. This is going to change his life, and it's going to change Tuwa and Pui's life. Ah. Nick Paparella, CTV News.